Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Michael Schuster. How are you today, Michael? Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> nice to be back in Toronto. Michael, the last time, I think we met initially during the, the rare earth boom in 2010. 10, yeah, it seems like yesterday, doesn't it? And it was a PDAC, was it, it was not? PDAC, and uh, you were hosting a party for another company. Of course, now we're trying to get some of the cannabis investors excited about diversifying their portfolio. And of course, you have all the energy metals, or a lot of the top ones. Well, I've been doing the, like, the rare earth, that is, which is really part of the energy story too. So I've been doing all those specialty metals for probably about 25 years. So it's not something we jump on the bandwagon and off. We're always into the, the specialty metals. All right, so Michael, we know you're here in the game to stay, but can yeah. you tell us what your number one priority is presently? Right now we've got a, a project in New Brunswick. It was a former Noranda project. It had exceptional cobalt numbers. I've looked at thousands of cobalt projects all over the world. When I saw this, uh, the numbers were so good, I thought they were, you know, we, we go PPMs to PPBs. I thought for sure this is PPBs, which is a smaller number, because the numbers were so high. So when we, I confirmed it with the ex Noranda guys, looked at all the old data, I said, I got to get this. So we have cobalt, we have nickel. Nickel and copper. And copper, which of course is one of the top technology metals. Yeah, nobody, nobody uh, knows that, I see, but it is. So of course everybody knows you for reputation. You've taken this company, changed its name. What's different? Um, well, part of it is like I think the market is really into the energy materials now, much more than say, you know, we look back at 2010, rare earths were kind of new. Everybody knows that story that the materials are there. So I thought we were just ready to relaunch and rebrand and and go with it. The market, in our opinion, has never been more competitive. You're one of the many companies out there. Of course, you have a great deal of knowledge and expertise, an amazing management Thank team, you. Michael. Great team you've built here. Can you tell me what your biggest competitive advantages are? Well, I think we've got one of the best cobalt projects out there, uh, but it's also copper nickel, which is not bad commodity space either. I, Sorry, yeah. why is it one of the best projects in the world? I want to know, Michael. Uh, because of the geophysics that we've that was previously done by Noranda. We have a very world-class target uh, on the geophysics. We've done a brand new survey using expert geophysics, the best guys in the world. I had Kit Campbell, probably the best geophysicist in the world. If Kit watches this, he'll like that, but I think he is. And uh, he came up with some pretty convincing targets. Okay, I need you to dumb this down. Geophysics, tell us what that really means for all of us cannabis investors that are straight out of high school. Well, number one, in the mining, junior mining space, you want something huge. And the geophysics tell you if you got something huge. So we do have something big, a big target. We put a couple of drill holes in it. We will look like a marijuana stock once we get some results. We will look like a marijuana stock. I love it. So what should we anticipate this spring? Um, I think that the, the stock price will creep up. As everybody knows, we're getting closer to the drill program. We're fully funded, so we don't have to raise money. Uh, we're a very well-structured company, uh, so that if we get some good news, we can the stock can really move. And I've got some really influential investors, sophisticated mining investors, and probably some of the best guys in Vancouver are backing the project on the pure science of it. Okay, for the pure science of it, love it. Thank you so much for joining us today, Michael. Okay, thank you.